Sometimes you need a friend, a partner, somebody to help you out with a game or just to have fun. So this is all about couch co-op games, local co-op games for you to enjoy. These are some of the best Nintendo Switch games to have fun with. Maybe a little frustration. Let's have at it. Starting off the list is this little adorable game called Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now, it would be higher on my list, but, you know, puzzle games aren't my total forte, and it takes a special sort of someone to kind of really dive in deep and get the most out of this game. The fiancé and I went through this game, and we enjoyed it. They really took the concept from 3D World and expanded it enough to feel like this is a game worth playing. I mean, you can't really go wrong with how cute Toad is. You know, some people find him really annoying. I don't see it. I enjoy my time with the good old Toad. And the best part is each character, each player, can do exactly what you need to do. There's no one person gets more stuff to do than the other. That's always a blessing in these type of games. Oh, it's you. Sticking with the puzzle theme for a moment, this might be kind of an odd one because most of, the, most of this package we're getting here doesn't play cooperatively. But the one section where you do get to play simultaneously together with a friend or a partner is really, really good. Again, I don't go out of my way to play puzzles, but this game is just so freaking clever. It will get to that point where you're a little frustrated, but I think you can persevere. If I can make it through this with a good old friend of mine, I think you can too. And then, you know, when you're done playing with your couch co-op partner, you have two lovely single-player experiences for you to have at. There's a reason these games are so highly rated and that they've survived in the limelight, the zeitgeist of those popular games out there. Because, man, are there a lot of good games out there. Just like the rest of this list. Ah, the art style that everybody got sick of. But you know what? It's still actually a pretty darn good game. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, what a mouthful, but the thing I like about this is it's a Mario game and you get to play it with a friend. Now, is there some frustrations? Yes, because you bounce on each other, you bounce off each other, and that can become a little hectic, but it can also make for some really funny moments. Probably more infuriating than fun, but still, it's there. And I think this is a pretty solid Mario experience overall, and I think you'll enjoy it. And I, you know, I still like this art style. I'm not ashamed to say that. Now, I don't think this added too much from the previous new Super Mario games, but I do like the terrain, the boss variety that we have in this one. You, you know, you're fighting the Koopa Kids again. That's always kind of fun. And there are some really cool looking levels in this game. So. If you have not, if you've shunned this game because you're like, ah, I'm sick and tired of this, I think you should give it a shot. Now on a separate list, this game would be rated much, much higher, but this is a cooperative experience list. And you might be thinking, how does Mario Party Superstars fit into that mix? It's kind of compi- I don't know. <laughs> There is a mode where you can play as teams, so you can work together to beat two computers or two other friends you have that you invite over, family members, whatever. But let me tell you, I have put a lot of time in this with the lady, and we have fun when it's just the two of us playing against computers. We get really competitive. It's so much fun. This is a return to form for the Mario Party series. I think the graphics have a nice clean and crisp look to it. I love the all the changes that they did. This game plays a lot quicker than the old ones. And out of the five maps, you have three really, really solid ones that I would play over and over and over again. And I have played over and over and over again. It's a Mario Party game. It's going to test your restraint. It's going to test your relationships. But you should, by golly, you should go do it. Overcooked 1 and 2 has such a simple concept. You're just going to cook some dishes and serve them. That seems pretty simple, but it gets so wild with the change up of terrain. You'll go through warps, you know, part, you'll be going in an air balloon that's crashing, and you have to, you know, make up your salads, cut your sushi. It builds and builds in this game. If you want to 
Ooh, if you want to get all the stars, it is absolutely infuriating, but this will give you a lot of content. Also, I think this game has some of the best DLC. You're just doing more and more of what you have done in the base game, but they are really, really solid, especially the Christmas themed ones or the holiday winter ones. There's something so joyous about preparing hot cocoa. I don't know what it is, but it's lovely. This is a masterclass game. I think it's more fun to play competitively against one another, but Towerfall Ascension does have a pretty solid co-op experience. It's such a lovely concept. All you do is jump, dodge, and shoot arrows. But my golly, is it such a fun freaking game. The couch co-op experience is basically you are going through different levels and enemies spawn, and it's just one screen. It's all you're doing, dealing with, which is such a simple concept, but it's gonna reward you as you go up and up. And the expansion that comes with this, I believe it comes with this version on the Switch, is even harder than the base game. So you have a lot to work towards, but then when you're done, grab another buddy or two and play this competitively. It is some of the most fun you will ever have, I promise. You can't go wrong with turtles beating up ninjas. I mean, you really you can't, right? With a killer soundtrack, amazing graphics. I, God, I love this style. We have a return to form with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Classic beat em up style. You know, a little bit reinvigorated for the new age that we are in, but this is a classic beat em up. And how can you not have fun when playing this with someone else? If the turtles get you nostalgic in any kind of way, you have to play this game. And I promise you will get a smile at least once or twice while playing this game. Especially, I mean, ninjas pretend to be working at an office and then just <laughs> throwing off their ties. You really can't go wrong. I like that each level has different challenges that, you know, the characters can level up. There's a lot going here that will keep you busy, even then with that short runtime on getting through the campaign. Now, if you would like a bunch of other game recommendations and you're not interested in co-op games, one, I don't know why you're watching this video, but I thank you. This little video right here is one of my favorite games ever. So you should definitely check that out. And this one has the most underrated Zelda game on the Switch. So there's a plethora of more games for you to check out for your Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's get on with it. Let's dramatically change the tone and let's be depressed but also fulfilled at the same time. Spirit Fairy has you journeying and creating the ship so you can house these animals while you are ferrying them away so they can pass on to the afterlife. This game deals with a lot of heavy subject matter. Death is very prevalent, so just be warned going into this. But you can play as the Spirit Fairy and then your couch co op buddy can play as the cat. And the cat can almost do everything that the other person can do. There's some certain things in the beginning where you don't have as much access, so that can be a little tedious. But after that little bumpy period, the cat can do just about anything. A freaking gorgeous art style with a somber OST, but also kind of gives it this good feeling vibes as well. This is a very interesting game with a lot of mini games hidden in, resource management. This game wears a lot of different hats and I definitely think it's worth your time. You know, there might not be a better loot grinding game than Diablo 3 for the Switch. I think personally this game just feels so at home on a home console. And you know, it's cool that it's a hybrid. You can play this in bed, grind it out. But this is a co-op list. And oh boy, is this a fun romp that you can take a friend along with you to slay some demons. Yeah, the story can be hit or miss, but I think the acts are very diverse and different enough from one another. There's some really cool boss fights in this game. The monk class can drop a giant bell on somebody and then pummel them with their fists. You can't go wrong. Even with the subject matter being a little bit more dark, I do like the pop of color. It kind of fits home on the Switch. A little bit more bright pastel compared to Diablo 2 and 4, 
So I think this is a great, great use of your time if you want somebody to dive in deep with you on this one. Ooh, is the soundtrack in this game amazing. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is awesome. The Switch has one of the best Wii U games available with extra content. Now I know you get points and crowns for getting the most points in each level, and it kind of makes it a little bit more competitive, but just ignore that and have fun with your friend or friends. You know, four-player co-op, it can get a little hectic. I think this game has a lot going for it, and it is one of the better 3D Mario games. And it's not the best, but this is different. It's They took the 2D formula and made it 3D. It's kind of its own separate little thing going on over there. And you get to be a cat. Cat Mario is adorable. You can't go wrong. Cat Peach is great. They're all great. Just be all the cats. This is going to keep you busy for a long while. It's very creative levels that you got going on here, but you're yeah, just going to be feeling that soundtrack. Trust me, it's just going to keep coming back to you. But when you're done, you got Bowser's Fury. One, uh, oh, such a cool expansion thing, little mini 3D Mario thing. It is awesome. It's Mario's first foray into the open world concept, and I think it's really worth playing and checking out just for a little while or 100% complete it like I did because I, boy, did I have a fun time with it. And I can almost guarantee you will too, but my older brother Larry didn't like it, so we have a review on that on our podcast, Bits of Time. Yes, same name as our YouTube channel. We make it simple for you. The best Nintendo Switch co-op experience is Stardew Valley. There are a couple reasons why. One, it's pretty simple, but you can do everything that the other player can do. And there is a lot, lot to do in this game. <laughs> I brushed off Stardew Valley for the longest time because I thought it was a just a farming simulator. And at its core, that's what this game is about. But the beauty of it is when you have somebody else to play it with you, you can branch off and do other things. So what I did is go down the mine. I want to get as far as I can go. I want to get to the bottom. I want to see the change in terrain, the change in the monster variety that I'm fighting. And you can do that. And it feels kind of like an RPG because then I'm going on quests and I'm talking to townsfolk and experiencing their stories, what's happening in their life. And at the same time, I'm playing with somebody else right beside me and we're farming and questing together. I have 100% completed this game Took me, <laughs> took me uh, like 164 hours if I remember correctly. And I enjoyed most of my time with that. You know, sometimes I push myself a little too hard. Some late night game sessions for the lady and... But man, this game is an experience that you need to try out. You've probably written it off, or you're probably sick of hearing it, one of the two. But give Stardew Valley a chance. Now the question I'm wondering is, will Super Mario Wonder replace any of the games on this list later this year? Yes, I'm recording in 2023. Gosh, I hope it does. I hope it bumps off at least one of these games, because that'd be pretty wonderful to me. There you have it, the best Nintendo Switch co-op games. If you disagree, let me know down below. If you agree, hit the like button. If you don't agree, hit the like button. You know what you should do? Hit that like button. See you in the next video.